Well, traffic and weather as we have right now and Tropical Storm Harvey still. Still. And interestingly enough, even though the rain is over, the flooding will continue for days. And the National yeah. Weather Service took a moment out of their forecast discussion, which is usually just all weather information, took a moment out to say, even though it's not raining today, you need to be careful. Mm. Just because it's not raining, you still have to be careful of flooded roadways and all sorts of things. A lot of people, when the weather starts to get better, want to go back and look at their homes, mm. want to go back and see what they can of find. Of course, that's and understandable. The time, yeah. the time is not here yet yeah. mm. because the flooding is still so high in so many areas. So when unfortunately, when could we even see the flooding like that even subside? I mean, how do, can you even put a ballpark time on that. It's very difficult to right? do that because uh, you've got a bayou involved in this. Mm. Um, you have got rivers, you've got streams, you've got flooding that happened just from the heavy rain and all of this combined is going to make it just again unprecedented so we have to see. Plus they're at fairly low elevation. What mm -hmm. does that mean? How does drainage occur for rains of this magnitude? It's going to be something we'll have to sit back and watch and wait I suppose. Looking live out over Chicagoland this morning we have a nice easy start on our day but again looking at what's happening from tropical Storm Harvey, we have still got rains pounding areas of Texas, Louisiana, now Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida as well. Heaviest of the rain will likely fall right along that Texas, Louisiana border today. Houston's getting spared the brunt of the heavy stuff at this point. 45 mile an hour sustained winds with Harvey. It's now back out over land. We've got movement of north northeast at about seven miles per hour. Pretty quickly it accelerates and downgrades to a tropical depression and then just a remnant low by the time it approaches the Ohio River Valley. Rain from the system will stay south of us, but we may get a bit of cloud cover from it this weekend. Radar picture showing dry conditions for Chicagoland right now. We've got 62 degrees at Midway, 54 from McHenry and Aurora, 56 degrees around DeKalb. Visibility is reduced. It's going to be a factor. Dense fog advisory through 9 and visibility in Rensselaer, Joliet, Aurora, McHenry, DeKalb. Not good. So if you're hitting the roadways right now in those areas I just mentioned, please keep in mind that fog may slow you down and you just need to be extra careful. We will see the sunshine though pretty quickly on the day. 78 degrees the high today. We stay below average all the way across the board here. We're looking at highs uh, which will be primarily in the 70s this week.